Okay, so this isn't an iPhone 4S review, this is an iPhone 4 review, <coughs> but I'm trying to find iPhone 4 apps that emulate what Siri does. I found two on the App Store, they are Drag and Go and Vlingo. I'm going to try them side by side and see what they can do. This is Drag and Go, and <clears throat> what is the weather like today? So I'm going to quick think. It's gone to AccuWeather.com, and it has found me local weather. So that is a good start. Find me a video about Andrew Lansley and the NHS. It's a bit of a complicated question. Let's see. Find me a video about country. Right, okay, so it's gone to Google and it has failed that one. Find me a video on the NHS. This time it's gone to straight to Google Video and it has found videos on the NHS. So, so far so good. Now let's try what else it can do. Email Melanie, I'm trying the Dragon Go dictation app. And it is searching CNN. Email Melanie, unfunded truck and invitation. Find me vegan food. And find me vegan food. It's gone to Yelp and it has found vegan food close by. So, no, nope, there it's done really well. Um, let's see if we can try some of the more like natural language sort of stuff that Siri does. Will I need an umbrella today? Same sort of questions that people are asking. Now it's gone to AccuWeather. It's picked up on the umbrella and it has found me weather report for today that's exactly what you want really isn't it it's not giving you the same sort of interaction but it is giving you the same information tweet I quite like this drag and go application I'm signed into Twitter so it hopefully no tweets awkward like <clears throat> tweet testing this It's recognised what I said, but it's put it into Google. Status update. Testing drag and go. <coughs> Status update. Testing drag and go. Okay, so it's recognising what I'm saying. It's putting it into Google, but it's not doing what Siri would do in that sort of situation, which would be to update Twitter. Okay, so so far it's done pretty good. It's recognising what I'm saying. It's putting into semi-relevant searches. And you can always change what you're searching by scrolling along here. If it gets the wrong sort of search results. <coughs> right, now let's try Vlingo. This one is more geared towards contacts and emailing and stuff. So, status update. I'm trying the Vlingo app. It's gone onto Twitter and it has put in I'm trying the Vlingo app. So if I hit send... That's done exactly what I want it to do. That's good. Are you sure want to cancel? Yes. It doesn't have voice control, so if I say cancel to it, it will add cancel to my tweet, the word. So that's not, <coughs> again, exactly what you want. Email Melanie. I'm trying the Vlingo app. So it's... Post an email, it's put in the text, I'm trying the Vlingo rocks. Pretty close, not quite there. Find me vegan food. This is one that Dragon Go got pretty well. B food. Let's try again. Find me vegan food. Now you notice it is in the maps application here. Funky feet in food and misses. One more try. 
Find me vegan food. Peek it. Okay, it's not going to get this one. Find me a bike shop. People's pawn shop. Okay, so it has contact integration. It can compose text messages. Text Melanie, I'm not sure how well this is working. That's a comment on the app, not on anything else. I'm not sure how well this is working, have sex. Well, that's some. Um, <laughs> could be a bit forward. Well, I'm not going to send that one. So, two applications. Both do two halves of what Siri does. Neither of them are integrated, but Vlingo does a good job of trying to integrate all your apps, although its speech recognition isn't up to par with Drag and Go. Neither of them fully match what Siri does. But if you're on an iPhone 4 and you can't afford the iPhone 4S or you just don't want to upgrade, there are good alternatives for that.